Hello Market Club members everywhere, Adam Hewison here coming to you from the digital studios of Market Club. Well, it's the night that everyone will remember here in America and of course the we're talking about the elections, another story, but let's talk about the markets and what we're seeing there. First of all, we're going to start off with Facebook. Facebook is actually, as you can see, we have a longer term chart on Facebook going all the way back to May of 2012 and you can see it's basically steadily going up, 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 up. This talk you may have heard this about the first trillion dollar company. I almost say that's almost like spells doom and gloom on a market because they said that about Apple. And of course, Apple really didn't hit the numbers and they've been under pressure. And they're in a downtrend right now based on our trade trials. We'll talk about more of that later. But here we are. We have Facebook. And the symbol for Facebook is FB. And you can see that right here. Right there. And we have a nice strong uptrend okay continuing on and also we have a monthly that kicked in here as a buy we have exit here and another buy here around 99 dollars that was the last buy we had but now they're talking about facebook going up now the markets general markets are down for today but if we look at this closer you can see that actually facebook is positive for the day which is a good sign so let's just look at a three-month chart and put a candlestick chart in there you can see that's today's action but again, nice trend. All the trade trends are positive. It looks as though it wants to go high. Can it reach a trillion dollars? I don't know, but uh, the market will tell us what it wants to do. But if you just look on a pivot situation, you can just look at this very closely. On um, Facebook, you had this low here, low here. There's the pivot. So if you go from 114 down to, let's say, 10, let's call that 107. So it's $7. So the 120, 121 level is really kind of like a pivot uh, target zone. I think that's where we're going ahead. We've got very close here, uh, 120. So I think we're just going to trade around a bit and then probably continue up later on the year if it continues to be a very strong stock. But things do change as Microsoft will tell you, as IBM will tell you, all these big, big name companies that are all pushed out to be the next big thing. Things do change. I would not be surprised to see if Facebook doesn't become a trillion dollar company. Just want to mention this quickly. This is Tesla. They come out after the close today with their earnings. You can see our trade triangles, if you just put them in, are really not looking that good. We have the monthly positive, still positive, but the weekly at 240 is indicating be out of this market. Now look what's interesting here is you had a signal to buy at 239, but we had an exit signal at 240, meaning the market has turned down. And that was a good clue to really get out of the market. And really there's the there's the signal right there at 239.88 and there's the signal right there on the 29th of April to exit the position saying something is not quite right. The other thing that really concerns us here is they're expected to announce a 60 cent loss uh, for the period reporting, but you're also below the 50 line, which there's the 50 line right there. Not a good sign. This is not a good sign. So I don't think this is going to be a, the surprise would be if they don't lose as much money as everyone expects them to lose. So let's see what happens after the close today on Tesla. Okay, this is Apple was touted to be the first trillion dollar company. Well, obviously we've had a pretty big change of plans there with China and also with the iPhone itself which is the money maker for Apple. Well, here's the previous lows. This is all the way back in February, and we pretty much tested them, and it would not be surprised to see some sort of a bounce, okay? Uh, some people are calling for a bounce maybe at the 104 level uh, to fill this gap, which is a big gap. I'm not so sure. I think, generally speaking, the resistance is going to come back when we get to the 50 line. We're currently trading right around 30, 30, 25, 30. Uh, so that was the line that really made the difference when it went below there. The weekly, as I say, kicked in. Not a good sign. Actually, saved a lot of money. We had a lot of members uh, basically congratulate uh, the trade triangles for getting it right. And we are currently trading, as I say, down for the month overall, down for the, I should say, this start of this quarter. But let's see how things play out. But generally speaking, would not be surprised to see more sort of choppy action and then a potential break of these lows. And if that's the case, then we're looking at somewhere like maybe $60, $60 a share for Apple on the downside. That would be quite a comeuppance from where we are right now. But that's a lot's going to happen before this happens. So let's just uh, see if we break these lows sometime in the near future. Crude oil, basically mixed picture there. If you're short-term short traders, you should be out of this market. 
Uh, we could draw a trend line, of course, from the lows here, and that should offer some support for this particular market if it gets down there. So that will be around about the $42 level. Generally speaking, uh, look for support to come in more at the 50 level, which is really where we want to see support come in on the RSI. This is one, a really nice indicator. If you're not using it, you should take a look at it. So the RSI would find support right here, just to kind of like ha how it did here, 50, boom, bounce up. But look for this support to come in here and also support to come in around the 50 level on the RSI. This is the June contract of crude oil right here. Look at it, gold. Gold's taking a bit of a tumble today, a little bit of profit taking coming into the market, but again, it was overbought. You can see that on the RSI. And we're looking for that to find again support at 50. This is a very key level for this to look at, but generally speaking, the trend in gold, if you look at this further out, you can see it's actually been a nice turn. The 1300 level, which is right here, this is the one that's been flirting with resistance, resistance. I think we're going to overcome this. I think it's going to take us much, much higher, probably to the $1,500 level or higher. So let's see how that plays out. But longer term, the market is positive. This is the Dow. One thing that stands out to me is the fact that we're below the 50 line. That's the first time that has happened for quite some time. I think that's, let's just scope this out just a little bit further. So it's the first time it's happened in reality since uh, back here, this is back in, let's say, November of last year. So I think that's an important level, or even if you look at this level right here, and that's in December of last year as well. So this is a, a big clue. Watch for the numbers we mentioned in our report today, and that is on the Dow. We're looking at this number here. This is this number gets taken out, then our weekly turns negative, and that is 17,500 and 53. If it goes below there, then you want to be out of the market because that will turn this trade triangle red, which would not be a good sign for this particular index. Now the NASDAQ has already flashed a red trade triangle. You can see that here. A weekly trade triangle came on the 28th of April at 4,808. It's about uh, close to 300 points lower than that right now. But generally speaking, that is not a good sign. Also, the RSI is below 50 right here. So that's not a good sign either. So be careful. You should be out of the NASDAQ index if you're into that. You should be very wary of the Dow and also our next market, which is the S&P 500. Here's the S&P 500. You see it's almost bending down at the key level watching on that index is going to be 2,039. Let me write that down for you so you can see that on the screen. So 2,039. That's the key level of watch. If it goes below there, then this trade triangle will turn red and be a negative signal to be out of this market completely. That will be a very strong signal. But look at what's happening to the RSI. You're below 50. Not a good sign. More weakness coming in. So I would just be a little concerned about that. So. Should that happen, I would suggest exiting the market immediately and being on the sidelines. We have some interesting times ahead of us for sure, but thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. We appreciate it. Be sure to leave a comment if you feel like leaving a comment or you have a question about the markets. We're always happy to help you in that. Leave it just below this post and we'll get to it right away. Have a great trading day, everyone, and uh, let's look forward to the future. It's going to be a great future and we have some great opportunities in the marketplace. I'm Adam Hewson for Market Club. Once again, thanks for watching.